As we close out Black History Month, Fox 4 is looking into an important issue that black people across the nation have faced for decades, finding a way to embrace their natural hair while also in a professional setting. And we've even seen this with the news over the mm -hmm. past few years. It's become much more pronounced. Fox 4's Shari Armstrong is also tracking how federal legislation known as the Crown Act is moving along. There's a certain curiosity that comes with exploring hair, especially if you've worn it the same way for years. LaToya Turner's worked as a hairstylist for more than 15 years, and she's the owner of Ascension Hair Care in Fort Myers. She says now more than ever, women like Lakeisha Allen Thomas are transitioning their hair from relaxed traditional to natural styles. But some share concerns about making that change. A lot of people wanted to just see what their texture looked like, but they didn't want to seem unprofessional in their workplace or if they will be reprimanded for wearing their hair in braids or in some type of natural hairstyle. A 2020 study by Michigan State University researchers found black women with natural hairstyles like this one were perceived to be less professional, less competent, and less likely to be recommended for a job interview than black women with straightened hairstyles and white women with curly or straight hair. That's why there's a national push known as the Creating a Respectful and Open World for Natural Hair Act also known as the Crown Act. Its goal, protect against discrimination of hair texture and styles like braids, locks, twists, and knots in the workplace and public schools. At the federal level last year, the bill passed in the House, but not in the Senate. Supporting lawmakers are expected to try it again this year. At the state level, 20 states so far voted yes. However, Florida's lawmakers were not on board. The bill has died previously in the Sunshine State, but has been refiled as of this month. Some opponents of the bill say they believe other issues impacting the country are more important than the discussion of what constitutes professionalism in the workplace. But for Toya and some of her clients, the question is simple. Who determines what is professional? In Fort Myers, Shari Armstrong, Fox 4. And Shari proudly representing her braids right here on Fox 4.